Hello. Okay. A bit of a long one today, so I don't know if the intro card will survive and the thumbnail came out horrible, but whatever. Um, I can always take more pictures later if I really need to. I was just like most of the rest of you watching the Rose Anvil comparisons. And of course he did the golden Fox and said, Hey, this might be the boot to get. Then he turns around and says the next week, Hey, no, the, Rock Rooster is the boot to get. Well, that's kind of annoying. Um, if you're looking for more of a work boot than more of a heritage style boot, as he said. I'm typically looking for more of a heritage style boot, though, so I went ahead and got the Golden Fox. Not just so I could do this video for, you know, October content, but because I thought it would make a handy comparison with the Wolverine Wedge, which... Technically, I guess the Rock Rooster would make the better comparison between these two. But here we are. Um, but coming in around the same price, do we have a boot that is maybe more of a workwear boot that he doesn't, you know, typically talk about? It maybe. And after he detailed all the things that are wrong with this boot, why you shouldn't get it after he said you should. Um, <laughs> I partly thought that for, you know, about a hundred bucks, I could take these and get them rebuilt when I get the Carolina ones rebuilt. And that might be an interesting project. And if the leather is really as great as he says that, you know, it'd be kind of worth it. Um, however, once you do all that work and everything, the cost adds up, a red wing boot would probably be about the same price new. So maybe not really worth it. So, again, being able to get two or three for that price and then wearing them till they die may or may not be worth it because, again, we're going to have, you know, what he pointed out about the crappy foam heel counter and there's, you know, kind of a foam padded tongue. But let me start with the boot itself instead of, you know, well, I kind of did, but on Amazon, when I went to find this particular boot, there were several different models. And so some of you may have read my comments on his video where I complained because this one has no inner lining. So it's a different model. There's an insulated model. There's an uninsulated model. I'll get back into some of that later. Uh, this tongue has kind of a not leather backing with the foam in between so similar to the wolverine kind of except the wolverine has the rough out suede tongue uh but this one does not this one does not have a terrible insole but it is a you know a cushiony insole not a leather insole you know again if you were upgrading by the time you did all that you'd end up with a pair of red wings i guess the laces are thin but not terrible they're not as bad as the um Grant stone laces. The, the thing about this, though, is he's talking about how great the leather is, how great the leather is. This was supposed to be the copper, and it doesn't really look like the copper. I expected the copper to look a lot more like the Diplomat, <laughs> and instead it looks like great pumpkin orange. And it says it's water resistant, but I guess the water resistant is because it's been coated with this plastic paint, you know. And it has a triple stitch similar to the Wolverine, but the leather's stiffer. So I don't know if you really need that or if it's just decorative. It does, you know, allegedly have a welt, although it won't be a leather welt. It'll be a, a plastic welt, same as the Thorough Good. So again, instead of buying three pairs of these, should I get, you know, two pair, one, you know, one or two pairs of these or whatever, however you want to do that math. I mean, I thought the point of these kind of channels was to tell you why you should upgrade and up, you know, up your game or whatever when you get into the, the boots so yeah if you're absolutely desperate and you just need a pair of boots for a hundred bucks fine but would you keep buying the hundred dollar boots when there's better boots around you know i, I thought the, again the point of these channels is to tell you how to better get your money's worth i already bought the third thorough good boots last year or whatever because he said those were the boots to get you know and again uh the Diplomats being not really a good work boot, not really a good fit. This one, when I first ordered it, said on the site, order your size. So I did. 
Then someone went back and changed all the sizing notations, or at least on the models that I saw, and said order half a size down. This one runs too big on me a little bit. This one runs pretty close to what I want. This the Wolverine, if you can see the tag, but isn't really visible in my photo. Um, branded. There you go. Um, but it's not the wrong size. It's the kind of boot where I would have to wear a thicker sock. If I went the half a size down with this, I think I would be, it would be too tight. I would be miserable. It would be almost as bad as this one, or maybe even worse. Although the toe box is wider, as you could see a second ago. Um, so yeah, if you make a boot where I have to automatically wear a thicker sock, I will whine and cry and make videos on YouTube and everyone will know. But that may not be consistent from every single model because next week's model that you know spoiler alert i already tried this one on and it does fit pretty close so an anomaly don't know and of course i was going to compare those to the taller wolverine uh so i included those in the photo even though i this i don't want this video to be 30 minutes long so we're gonna, <laughs> spoiler next week's mocktober will be the darker color ones but again, the Wolverines went on sale, so I actually got this boot for cheaper than the Golden Fox boot. So there you go. Oh, and I forgot to put my box back after I was copying down the notations. Um, so just to read some of the Amazon stuff that I was looking at, and for those of you who haven't seen my, I think, two or three already Wolverine videos, I've basically reviewed this to death so i don't <laughs> i don't know how much i actually need to talk about this like i said in terms of this review is this really the boot you know to go up against this one well for about the same price that the this one they're calling it their classic series so again not necessarily a more modern type of boot the, this is the, the Wolverine Loader 8-inch. This is the Wolverine Work Wedge. This is called 6-inch in brown, and this is called 8-inch in brown. Why they're both called brown, I don't know. Uh, this is called Golden Fox Urban Mokto Wedge, whereas this has a different name. Um, the... the uh, I'll get to that in a second. I can't find it here. Tall Mock Wedge Pro. So that's the Mock Wedge Pro. Both say oil tan, full grain leather, both made in China, designed in Ontario, California. Um, right down the street from me, basically. Um, but I had to get those ones from Texas. So there you go. <laughs> so that it took an extra couple days to get here um genuine leather now he's saying this is 300 leather uh genuine leather is usually the term they use when they're selling you scraps of junk um so i don't know if all of their boots are genuine leather genuine doesn't mean authentic genuine means uh <laughs> you know not good at all typically so um what does this say Natural markings retained, oil-resistant outsoles, non-marking soles, heel-to-toe cushioning, flexible construction, water-repellent upper leather, shock absorption. It does have, again, the removable outsole, or insole, rather, with their foam technology type of thing. Um, the eyelets are nicer than the Wolverine ones instead of, like, three big fat ones you have an extra narrower one but again the laces are not quite as thick although they're a little denser i don't know which ones will last longer again i'm not going to keep this boot and do a head-to-head -head with that because there's no point uh so i'll be returning this because mostly the fit issue not the price because for 90 bucks like okay sure i'll, I'll try your boots but once i try them on and i don't like the way they fit they go away <laughs> so, um, it says, you know, you're supporting on the inside of the box or whatever it says supporting, you know, business in Ontario or, but they're still made in China and 
there's plenty of jerks in Ontario, trust me. Um, so I don't know if this company's worth supporting or not, but you you know you can do that research if you're really devoted to it. Um, like I said, the other there was another model that had three colors, but two looked like they were exactly the same. I assume one of them is the newer model that he got with the lining that he didn't like on the other channel, because uh, again, this has a rough a rough out interior lining and a plasticky generic painted kind of look to it um let's see yeah i could not tell the difference in the photos necessarily between co copper and brun but there is also a brun m m6 or m16 i can't read what that says um and so maybe the brun is also likely this polyurethane instead uh, some of the other brands available that he didn't cover that I won't go too deep into, but you had Rock Rooster, which he said was the best for the price, except for the Irish Setter, which originally I thought Irish Setters don't come in my size. Some do. I might look into those next year, but I don't really need them now. Um, so maybe I'll do an Irish Setter versus Wolverine head to head later. Um, but again, yeah, I could. I don't know if you could get three for the price of a thorough good, but at least two, and then stock up on extra thicker socks. I guess I don't know. Um, but of course, I already bought three pairs of the thorough goods. I said that already. Um, King Rocks now says fit true to size. Order usual size. What's the difference between King Rocks and Rock Rooster and Golden Fox? I have no idea. Uh, but they're a hundred bucks. Those are insulated. That might be, again, that might be another Golden Fox boot just with a different name for a different model. I'm not going to order five pairs of Golden Fox boots just to figure out that, oh, it turns out they're all the same company. It's not really, I don't care. You can you can order them if you want to check them out. I, you know, October only goes for another week, so <laughs> not, a, not a priority here. Um, Flexible says Oxford work shoes offer more room for your ankles to bend compared to high top shoes. Great quality to have for carpenters, electricians, or casual wear. So I guess they're trying to say that they're flexible, but they protect your ankle. So I don't know who wrote this King Rocks text, but that's kind of confusing. Polyurethane sole. I mean, I don't have a pair of them here, so whatever. Shaft measures approximately eight inches insulated. They already said insulated. They're saying it again. Uh, lightweight and durable, oil and slip resistant, dependable traction, shock absorption, comfortable padded tongue and collar. Uh, this does have a padded collar, although it's not quite as squishy as the Wolverine, and they both have a pull tab, even though I don't know if you need a pull tab on a six-inch boot. Um and this one, like I said, really no contouring in the heel or anything, you know, that none. And if that foams counter in the back, I don't even think that's going to be the issue if that collapses or not, because there's just not really enough kind of grip support around the base of my foot here. Uh, I'm still continuing with golden whatever or king rocks sorry uh durable goodyear welt construction used to assemble the shoe the method involves the welt to be sewn against the uppers and the midsole creating an ultimate bond that prevents sole separation and so i think i had thought i might have ordered that but i i got whatever is this king rocks i i don't i don't remember <laughs> Um, cause I thought I was ordering a different brand and got this brand, but it doesn't say anything about King rocks. It just says golden Fox. So that was the King rocks, not the rock rooster. So I assume that's what I got in Brown. I, yeah. Okay. Uh, so if you're not as confused as I am right now, trying to go through all this stuff, then you're doing good. Um, but anyway, it also said order. Many of these boots, though, it said order a size down, but there was no smaller sizes available, even if I wanted them, so that didn't matter. 
Um, but it says 6.5 will fit you best based on data from customers who buy the same size as you. Okay, well, they must get a lot of returns then because, <laughs> again, I'll be returning these as soon as I finish up here. Uh, shaft measures approximately 7.5 from Arch. Heel measures. Now, this is more text from down farther below on, I believe, this boot. So maybe I shouldn't bother reading all of this now. Padded tongue and collar adds support and comfort, battling fatigue. Slim profile and easy to wear. Speed lace hooks on top of the work boot make it easy to put on and take off. The slim profile gives a casual appearance that can be worn during and off work. Yay. Steel shank supports the soles of your foot, forces a break in the pressure caused by climbing ladders or walking on rigid surfaces. Goodyear welt. Uh, prevents sole separation and allows your boots to be resoleable. The 8 inch. I already read part of that. Known to be one of the strongest and labor-intensive ways to make a shoe, this shoemaking method prevents sole separation and allows your boots to be resolable. So they just keep restating the same thing over and over with extra words. A polyurethane wedge outsole is combined with this boot to enhance the comfort and longevity. Wedge outsoles are one of lightest, most preferred outsoles to have in work boots. The tread pattern for this boot holds a very important safety feature for workers in the construction field because the outsole lacks complicated grooves. I assume these have the same sole. They're similar sole. Uh, workers can walk freely without tripping over a rivet or having to deal with mud clinging onto the boot. And so, for the sake of argument, we'll compare that to the Wolverine sole, which, for the sake of argument, we'll compare to the Thorogood sole. <laughs> okay. Six speed lace hooks. Okay, obviously this one doesn't have six speed lace hooks and neither does this. I Again, this has, yeah, six, if you count left and right side. Uh, and leather pull tabs enhance the experience of putting on and taking off the boots. Again, so we're talking about this boot, not this boot. But. The convenient lace system offers a tight and secured fit while the tabs make it easier for you to wear. Okay. The full grain leather that we use for uppers is soft and supple, requiring less time to break in. Full grain is one of the most premium durable hides you can have for your boots. The tight grain patterns on full grain make the uppers considerably water repellent and durable against the elements. And, and the paint on the top of it. <laughs> um, then there was rock poster, which again, I don't know. They say run true to size with a rubber sole. So the Beatles will prefer their boots, I guess. Uh, comfortable, breathable, safety, durable, 90-day warranty. I don't know if I should read all of this. Um, well, that's pretty much all the reading, so we'll, we'll try and shorten it. Uh, insole, Poron, XRD, anti-impact technology, uh, breathable. I'm not reading all of it, but, you know, plagued by sweaty feet. The breathable lining features Coolmax. Effectively wicking moisture. Keep your feet dry and healthy. Safety. Um, working boots meet American standards. So again, maybe this rock poster is more better to compare against rock rooster. I don't know. Durable fabric. Made with full grain leather. Durability. Midsole. Kevlar. Blah, blah. So those sound like they're actually maybe pretty decent for the price. But then you get them and maybe they're terrible anyway. I don't know. Maybe Roseanneville can cut a pair of rock poster boots in half and tell them if they're actually the boots to get after telling us three other pairs of boots were the boots to get. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's 20 minutes almost. Um, but if you have any questions and such, you can hit me up in the comments if I forgot to mention something super important that I can talk about next week when I talk about the boots that I talked about this week anyway. <laughs>